Hello and welcome to A Trace of Wisdom. As you may have watched in the introduction, I explained the purpose of this channel and why I created it. And I thought it's only logical that the first video would be about the media, which is such a cliche topic, but you cannot stress how important it is. You can never talk too much about the media because it, li it literally shapes the world around us every single day, every single hour. An event would happen and it depends on the media, it, it depends on each media platform. You would get a different interpretation, you would get a different agenda. Uh, your opinion will be shaped differently. The opinions of the masses will be shaped differently depending on what the media decides to give you. It is, it is such a dangerous yet fascinating phenomena in this world that a few videos can change your mind on a certain topic. Um, one conversation might turn your head around. And those media outlets, they certainly know this. They study us every day. They know what we think of. They know how we react to things. And this is not just, this is not about conspiracy theorist, theory. It's, uh, it's ridiculous to suggest these conspiracy theories all the time. It's, it, it is such a simplistic, it's a simplistic explanation that like, that there is like a, some, a bunch of people sitting in a room over around a meeting table and, you know, discussing how they are going to shape the world. I mean, it doesn't have to be that way. Those media outlets, they are business, business businesses, and they want to make money, and controversy makes money, polarization makes money, and yeah, they, it's simply like that. So what I want to talk about is they teach us in schools all the time that we have to have critical thinking. Uh, we have to criticize stuff all the time, make debates, uh, look at other perspectives. Um, I remember in high school they would um, they would tell us we have to make this debate, and then they would ask each person, "What's your view on this matter?" And then the teacher will actually put you on the opposite side so you can you know get to think a little about the opposite what the opposite viewpoint has has to offer on this issue and that's good it's all good but the thing is those governments who put these these who agree on this educational material to be taught in school they don't actually apply that and think it's obvious in the media I mean I've, I've been following the media in in several countries especially those countries who claim that they are free the countries that are most vocal about them being free and you know the countries that most emphasize free speech and human rights. It always, it is always the case that they are the most countries that that don't, they, they do not show you the opposite side of the thing. And to me, that is just weird. Like. What is the purpose of all, all of this? 
why is it that no country, no government in the world tolerates real criticism? I mean, sure, you can criticize, you know, healthcare system or educational system and stuff like that. But the gen general policy of the government is not really questioned in the, me in the media that is funded by this government. You have to have another, you have to find another media outlet to voice your criticism of the policy or the overall policy. This is, this is something that many people are unaware of. They confuse this thing about, well, yeah, we can make fun of the president or something. Therefore, we have free speech. No, not really. I mean, what's the point if you can make fun of everyone if nothing changes? Or what is the point of protesting if nothing is going to change? I mean, if you, if you voice your opposition all the time, and if millions of people voice their opposition to the government all the time, and nothing changes, well, those people cannot claim to have free speech. Unless free speech just means that you can say whatever you want and that's it. Because for me, for me, my understanding, uh, I, that may have come across as stupid. But my understanding of free speech is not just that you say things. Because for me, I wouldn't say anything about any topic if I didn't think that that would change something because then I would be just talking pointlessly so it's important to have free speech it's important to keep voicing your opposition even though nothing changes but it's important to know the difference between making a difference and just talking. I don't know if that came, came out well. It doesn't seem that I communicated the idea. don't really know. You know, it's one of the things that, you know, is sitting too well in your head, but you cannot articulate as effectively as you would, as you would want. anyway I would I would I want to say in the end that it is important to have the critical thinking but you have to question the very source that is telling you to be to, to be thinking crit critically because although they are telling you that I'm still not sure that they want you to actually think that way because even though all, like most free countries, teach their students to think critically, those very countries still have media outlets that are indoctr indoctrinating the public on certain topics. And the public is actually absorbing this. And it seems to me like there is no point that, that te all the teaching about critical thinking did not really make a difference because the people are still believing what the media is telling them. And it's such a, a confusing issue. Like, how does that happen? How do you teach an entire generation to be, to be thinking critically and at the same time indoctrinating them with whatever you want? How is that possible? Uh, I will leave you with this question. It's no simple question to answer. So, you, you, you feel free to think about it. And thank you for watching till this point.